how to make a parametric modular kitchen casework in Revit. Part 4 base unit dishwasher. Let's start. Duplicate the base unit one door shaker from our previous project. Rename. Name it base unit dishwasher. Okay, open the file. <laughs> okay, next, download and open the built in underwasher. Okay, load into the project. Okay, insert, pick, okay, go to reference level, okay, let's delete this parameter, okay, delete this reference plane, so, undo, Okay, delete this. Okay. Let's go to front. Let's delete the door. Delete this dimension. Delete this reference plane. Okay. This reference plane. This reference plane. Okay. Next, let's go to 3D view, delete the base, delete the module, okay, delete the, this void, okay, next, go to reference level, align, select the center line, select the center of the dishwasher, lock okay align select this reference plane and this reference uh, this line okay lock next go to 3d view okay let's check the reference level Go to the door, door panel, select the door panel plane. Go to front elevation, place on face, pick. Okay, next. Align, select the center line, select the center of the door panel and lock okay align select the bottom of the door panel lock okay next select the door panel go to edit family let's select the pull handle uh, go to graphics visibility pick the button and let's create a visibility parameter for the full handle type full handle on off okay okay load into the project no override Okay, select the door panel, go to edit type, and let's turn off the pull handle, uncheck. Okay, next, select the door panel, let's select the dishwasher, uh, go to dimension panel, pick the button, 
let's map this parameter create a new parameter and type dishwasher panel so this is the height of the dishwasher panel okay so we can use it into the formula okay next select the door panel select the width pick the button and select the door width okay so we have a three millimeter gap on each side next go to door height go to formula delete the six millimeter so the formula is module height minus the dishwasher panel then plus 70 millimeter for the door extension okay select the door panel pick the button at the height and select the door height okay perfect next go to 3d view let's check the 3d go back to front okay good next go to family types let delete this unnecessary parameter delete so we don't need this parameter for the door handle delete okay Okay. The shelves, double shelves, delete. We don't have the shelves. Okay. The base, let's delete this. The module. Okay. And also the door. Okay. Next. Style, finish base finish okay okay next select the door let's create a visibility parameter for the door panel plane okay name it door panel plane so we can change between door panel plane and the shaker raise panel okay let's check the edit type okay next uh, let's select first the door panel let's hide the element go to reference label and let's insert the shaker raise panel select place on work plane pick <coughs> align align lock warning uh, cancel select the door panel let's move it again okay align make sure we select the reference plane and the center line of the door okay select this reference plane select the back of the panel and lock okay perfect go to front elevation select the raised panel uncheck all the door handle okay next select the shaker door panel okay let's go to panel width select the door width okay for the panel height pick the button select the door height okay next move the door align 
select this reference plane select the bottom of the door okay lock perfect select the door okay now let's map all the materials door handle finish pick the button select the full handle finish okay door panel finish pick the button select the door panel finish rail finish select the rail finish style finish select the style finish okay next go to graphics visible pick the button and let's create a visibility parameter okay let's name this shaker raise panel okay okay next go to 3d view okay next let's go to family types uh, let's select some of the family types that we don't need and delete this one with 90 delete delete with 45 delete with 30 delete okay apply rename this one to base unit one door with 65 let's name it uh let's add door panel plane okay then uncheck the shaker raise panel apply then rename copy control c new parameter then control b delete the door panel plane and add shaker raise panel okay check shaker raise panel and uncheck door panel plane apply okay select the door panel plane okay next let's check again the family types so we don't miss anything okay okay next save the family so load uh let's open a sample project okay go to desktop let's open a casework design project okay so we can try our dishwasher okay go go back to family and load into the project okay pick okay select the unit space to rotate okay then select the unit mirror select the space okay select the unit and let's change it to shaker raise panel okay so we have a two types of panel the plane and the shaker raise panel thank you